It is not about the military intervention. Qatar is the first country who called uh, to avoid any military intervention by asking the regime from day one uh, to apply to the international standard and to protect the Syrian people. But unfortunately, we uh, find that brutal act is uh, over and over again in Syria. And I think the international community has to decide and take a uh, proper uh, mechanism to stop the, the killing. You talk about a proper mechanism. What is that? In the past, Qatar has said it wants to see military intervention in Syria. So are you backing off from that point at present or not? No, the, uh, the proper action, uh, the proper mechanism is not to uh, back off. The pro proper mechanism is to, me to use every mean to stop the brutality of the regime. Let's talk about this, uh, this resolution. The Russians have warned against rushing uh, for Chapter 7 because they say there is no evidence that Bashar al-Assad used chemical weapons um, on the Syrian people. You have helped bankroll Syrian opposition factions. How can you be sure it wasn't the rebels using chemical weapons? Since 2011 till now, there will be more than 14 attacks on chemical weapons being used. If we say that has, he has killed three to four to 5,000 people by the CW, there is 95,000 people, Syrian people, has been shelled, bombed mm. uh, by all means of weapon. Was it a mistake on Qatar's part to bankroll and back Syrian factions in Syria, some of which it now appears may be allied with al-Qaeda? Well, I think uh, this is a misunderstanding of the issue. Qatar is working with this group, Ally. We're working with the USA, we're working with France, Britain, and other friends of Syria. And when we work, we work through the proper uh, channel. And the proper channel is the uh, chief of staff, uh, Salim Idris. And uh, this is uh, close hand in hand with our friends and ally uh, in, in, uh, in the Syrian case. What do you make of this, these sort of shifting tectonic plates between the US and Russia here? Because it is clear that Russia is taking an increasingly uh, front seat role, isn't it? I don't think the uh, USA has given its role to Russia or the other. The USA is trying to do its utmost best to protect the Syrian people. And I am sure that this is one step of other steps will be taking soon. In Qatar, do you fear an attack on U.S. interests in Doha from Iran if the U.S. were to launch military action in Syria? Is that a, is that a concern on the part of Qataris at this point? Iran is our neighbor. Uh, we have a good relation with Iran. We have a misunderstanding with Iran about Syria only. In Qatar, with our allies, uh, we think that uh, this is uh, a man who is uh, trying to eliminate his people, uh, you know, the zero-sum game. Uh, in Iran, they see it uh, otherwise. And, uh, and this is what the difference we have between us and Iran. And it is, this does not affect the other part of our relation with Iran. This is often called, called a proxy war, this Syrian crisis, is it? We in Qatar, uh, we are fair, we are clear. We know that there is a people, people called for their freedom, and there is brutal action being taken against them to demolish them, to eliminate them, to finish them. This is how we see it in Qatar. So whatever we do with our allies, we only do it to protect the people. We don't do it because of proxy or any other agendas.